This video is sponsored by Squarespace. What's going on guys? Vincent here from thecreativedojo.net. Hope you guys are doing well out there. Today in this video, we're gonna be talking about something called particle illusion. For those of you guys who are not aware, particle illusion is an OG particle systems generator that was actually fairly popular back in the day. And I think they kind of made it really stagnant. And so now we have things like Stardust, but they recently revamped this thing, brought it out, and they also released a free standalone version. So everything that you're seeing right now in front of you is actually available for free. You can download it right now and try it out. It's great. And you can render it out in maximum 8K ProRes. Now they still have a plugin version available in your host applications like After Effects and Avid, but that's gonna be part of the Continuum Suite. It's gonna cost you an arm and a leg. But this free standalone version is pretty nice. And my objective in this overview video is to kind of show you guys around the interface, kind of show you guys what Particle Illusion is about, and my initial thoughts, pros and cons, and where it stacks up against Particular and Stardust, um, and just my initial reactions on how to use this Particle Illusion thing right here. Um, so it's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So the first thing that you're gonna notice is that Particle Illusion is a little bit different in a sense that you don't really create things from scratch so much. You still can, but it's kind of a pain in the butt. But basically they really focus on the presets and you know picking a preset that you, that you kind of want that's kind of close to what you're trying to do and modifying it. So it's a little bit different than Trapper Particular and Stardust's workflow. Yes, I know they still have library presets, but it's not as expansive as a Particle Illusion right here. Also, when you first install Particle Illusion and open it up, you're gonna have like these set of default emitters. It's also gonna ask you if you wanna download the expansion for free and you definitely want to download the expansion pack because it's gonna give you a way more emitters to work with right here. So as you can see, we have some pretty cool emitters right here. These anime blasts are actually pretty cool and they'd be kind of hard to create in particular or Stardust because you don't have the custom sprites. I think this is where Particle Illusion really shines in a sense that they have so many internal custom sprites that their presets are very, very diverse. And I know you can define your custom sprites in particular in Stardust, um, but, but, but that assumes that you have the custom sprite already made or you're going to make it. And here you just have these, all these custom sprites ready to go. So these little cool little things are pretty cool. I will say that a lot of these presets are actually kind of corny and cliche, and some of them are a little bit outdated. I assume that those are the, kind of the older presets bundled with Particle Illusion. Uh, some of them are kind of corny, some of them you're never gonna use, um, but a lot of these are also pretty cool as well. So for example, these kind of exploding dust puffs, um, something like this would be really cool for like sci-fi space stuff. Um, I also think that this particle illusion is really great for motion graphics because a lot of these particle effects are not really so much photorealistic per se. So maybe not used in like a visual effects kind of perspective, um, but for motion graphics and title design, this is really, really cool. And so as you can see, we have some pretty cool stuff going on. There's also some heads up display stuff, some tech stuff, Tron inspired stuff right here. Some nice little interface if you're going for like that Iron Man look, just kind of modify it. Um, just kind of getting started presets. Now, it gets really cool when you start going down into the, the smoke and fire simulations, right? Because people will try to get away with smoke and fire in particular and it kind of looks okay. I believe the, these presets right here will give you a little bit closer of a look right here. And so we have a lot of like different types of smoke simulations, fire, um, thick smoke, thin smoke, vapors. They've pretty much thought of a lot of scenarios, meteors right here. So if you wanna create some meteors that way, and a lot of them already have physics kind of like built into them. So you don't have to tweak around with the physics so much. Um, so like storm, electric storm, smoke, all sorts of little swirls and things, little knickknacks that you could use and modify. You, you even have like anime smoke, really cool stuff. Um, thin smoke, a lot of cool stuff here. And for example, we can go into like smoke bloom. You can kind of see what it kind of creates right there. You also have some more cliche stuff like snowflakes like this. This is kind of like, I guess, popular back in the day for like, um, Christmas and holiday animations for like flash and whatnot. Uh, but I get it, some people still need these kind of things and it's very handy to have it. You have basic stuff like snow, rain, Arctic ball. And again, like where I said it shines, basically in Particle Illusion, you have all these nice custom sprites. So you can create really nice abstract type of looks like these auras in the application or all sorts of little cool things. You have stuff like spinning star, meteor showers, star track teleporting devices, all sorts of little different 
types of uh, particles right here. We even have textures. And the cool stuff here are the tunnels, right? So for example, this energy tunnel over here that I'm using or energy vortex, really cool stuff that would be really hard to create in particular, I feel like. Wormhole, pretty cool stuff. Some water simulations. Again, these presets range from like really corny and bad to actually pretty stunning. Uh, so you kind of have to filter it out yourself and kind of see uh, what's good. Waterfall, water spray, water splash, all kinds of stuff right here. And so let's go ahead and take a look at kind of how to really use this thing. So in order to use one of these presets, so for instance, I'm going to go to this V Bloom Fizzy. Basically, what you do is you just double click. And it's going to add that into the scene. And I'm going to go ahead and disable my current one right here. And so by default, it adds the preset to your time indicator. So you can actually move it back like this at the beginning, or you can change that in the preferences to add to the beginning. But essentially, we have this little smoke fume right here. Pretty cool. And as you expect, you have all the basic parameters, position, life, size, velocity, weight, um, all sorts of things that you can modify. And actually, there's a lot of parameters that you can modify and you can bring it down in here and change the, the shape to like either an area to a point or a line. You can actually go into the interface and adjust things and move things around. You can move the particles that way. Um, you can change all sorts of different emitter options. You can also keyframe these things. These little red boxes indicate that it already has keyframe animations applied to it. And you can go around and play with the particles. They even have auxiliary particles, which will emit particles, which will, those particles will emit other particles, uh, kind of like a chain reaction. And as you can see, the playback is pretty nice considering how many particles there are and how intensive this stuff is. It's all GPU accelerated, and it works kind of similar to Trap Code's kind of previewer um, in a sense. It's pretty fast, pretty snappy. So at the very top, you have stuff like the magnification of your comp viewer. You can change the background from checkerboard to over black. Um, you can actually enable and disable motion blur. And so one thing about the interface that I found is that it really just sucks. Um, these are toggles, by the way. And if it's grayed out, it's off. If it's turned on, it's pretty much on. You can toggle the heads up display so you can drag things and move things around. The cool thing about this is it's kind of like Stardust in a sense where you can actually apply deflectors and forces to alter the particles, right? So before I do that, I'm going to change this to a point to a area. Maybe increase the area just a little bit so we have some more space to work with. And we can actually add a deflector by clicking on the deflector and then click on the stage, click on the composition, and you can actually draw your deflector. And then hit escape and you'll see your deflector right here and we can change the thickness of the deflector we can change the amount of bouncing that's going to have and hits and angle um, you can pretty much add your own deflectors and this will pretty much deflect and affect the particles in your scene um, so you can actually move this in and deflectors are kind of like particle systems in a sense that um, they also have durations. So you need to make sure that the deflectors are starting at the right time where you want them. So if you look closely, you can see that the deflector is really kind of just alternating and affecting the particles right here. You can actually increase the thickness and you'll really see kind of what it's doing. It's really deflecting all those particles. Um, pretty cool stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and delete the deflector and add a force. And so we'll go ahead and just click. And with the forces, um, basically you can create a, kind of like a wind effect or an attractor effect. So I can see right here, it's really blowing the particles away. And you can change the type of force from an area to a point. You can increase the strength to like 200, change the angle, change the width and height. And you're gonna see that we have a kind of like a pushing force right here. It's gonna push everything aside. And you can play around with it. You can move it in the interface. And it's going to alter the particles that way. So it's pretty cool. Again, the limitation is that you can't actually see your background elements uh, within After Effects, right? Because you're not using the plugin version. So you don't really know where your text layers are. You don't really know where any of your shape layers are. So it's kind of hard to add forces and deflectors that way. But, you know, if you kind of need that, then go ahead and purchase the plugin version. But the free version, you can still do this 
and you can render it by going to render, set your output, set everything, um, your resolution, your frame rate, export to ProRes 4444 if you need um, the alpha channel. And then you can bring that into After Effects and do whatever you want with it, um, colorize it. I believe in the standalone free version, you don't really have access to the color of the raw source particle, I believe. I could be wrong. Now you can change the color by tinting everything. Um, and again, this is the downside of the interface. The interface, uh, quite frankly, kind of sucks. It doesn't have a custom color picker. So you'll be using your default color picker, which I think sucks for Mac. And so you can tint it that way using the color picker. If you ever needed to rearrange the stack of things, um, you, can't, you can't just click and drag it underneath a layer, or you can't just click this and drag it underneath. You have to manually left click, hit move down. If you wanna disable something, you can't disable everything at once. You can't sell anything. You have to enable them and then disable this one and so on and so forth. And if you wanna rename, you have to hit rename. And so it's a very, very tedious. The interface is just not very intuitive and the user experience really sucks. Um, but this can always improve in the future. You can actually save your modified presets into your library as well. And so this is the rundown of Particle Illusion. Again, this is a pretty superficial overview of Particle Illusion, but it should give you kind of an idea as to if you want to use it or not. Again, it's a free application by Boris, so you can't really complain when it's free. It's very, very powerful considering it's free. And so if you don't have Particle, you don't have Stardust, and you want to get into Particles, this is a fantastic way to kind of integrate Particles into your scene, into After Effects, into Premiere, into whatever application you want. I really appreciate that they added deflectors and forces and allow us to manipulate the Particles that way. And I think that you would use Particle Illusion when you really need a specific look, like you need the custom sprites, you have a very specific look, and you want to create some motion graphic stuff like this. This is really amazing. If you want more fine control over the pathing of your particles and you want more control over the interaction of your particles, either purchase the plugin version or just stick with Particular or Stardust because this is not going to work if you want to interact with your other layers in After Effects. Before I give, I want to give a quick thanks to our sponsors over at Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Squarespace is the only one platform to create an amazing website, whether it's for a store, online business, or portfolio. They have amazing things to choose from, fully customizable so you can make it the way you want it to look like without having any coding knowledge required. They have awesome 25 hour support, and best of all, if you use the promo code DOJO at checkout, you can actually save 10% off your order and support the show. So check it out over at squarespace.com slash dojo. Squarespace, the number one place to create an amazing website. All right, so this is the Particle Illusion standalone application. Just a very, very rough overview. There's more to learn, so I'll link more tutorials down below by John Dickinson from MotionWorks. But this is just a basic overview. Let me know what you guys think about Particle Illusion, whether or not you would use it in your projects or not, your thoughts and opinions on it. Let me know in the comments section down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos like this. My name is Vincent Wynn from The Career of Dojo, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.